Hello, my demons and ghoulies. Welcome back. We're officially in spooky season, spooky month. Uh, happy spooky the... I think it's going to be the fifth by the time this video comes up. Happy spooky the fifth. <clears throat> so to kick off this frightful month, instead of uploading once every other week, I'm actually going to be at least attempting to do one video each week just to get the maximum spook factor going. <laughs> um, but to kick it off, I thought I would do something... I guess cliche in a way. I really wanted to do uh, this really lovely motif of coffin and roses, which isn't like terribly morbid, but it teeters on the edge of like, oh yeah, this is made for Halloween. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so to start, I'm using an OC of mine that I haven't really shown a lot publicly. His name is Samuel. He's, uh, <laughs> I guess very Slenderman-esque is a good way to put it. But his motif is lots of black and lots of red. And later on, I'm going to do myself, which is lots of blacks and blues. So I thought that the contrast between the two would look really, really nice. And as you'll see later on, uh, when I put them next to each other, the, the contrast between the colors actually does look really nice. Speaking of spoopy month, I know that we're not necessarily out of quarantine, but uh, some places are better than others. Do you guys have any plans for Halloween? Any Halloween parties beforehand or after the fact? Any like Day of the Dead stuff? I'd be so 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 interested to hear. Personally, for me, I don't think I'll be able to do anything, but I would at least like to dress up and perhaps just take some, some fun photos? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Maybe this sounds silly, but follow me on social media if you want to see my Halloween photos. <laughs> I had a lot of fun rendering these roses. It was a bit of a challenge because I wanted a, something a little more realistic and I really liked the look of tinting the very edges of the petals with like a bit of black. But I guess to say that they're maybe like aged or dying but I just also like the look of it a lot more than leaving it without it. Would you like to see your OC in something like this or something similar? Please let me know. I might be hosting like um like a your character here with this border specifically. Um because I had such a blast doing it. I would love to have other people's characters in them. Just let me fall to my grave Heart fails under pressure Wonder if these bad days will last forever Oh, 
Another question for you guys. Do you have any particular like ritual, like a movie or a drink or a snack that you do make create during Halloween? I always like to watch um, Hocus Pocus. Um, me and my roommate try to do a tradition of watching Matilda. <laughs> we also are, I always love to watch Nightmare Before Christmas as much as I possibly can during Halloween and Christmas. <laughs> um, so let me know if you've got anything similar. Let me know if you think The Nightmare Before Christmas is a Halloween movie or if it's if it is a Christmas movie. I think technically speaking it's supposed to be a Christmas movie because it takes place right after Halloween and on Christmas, but meh, I'll watch it on Halloween and Christmas. Thank you very much. It was really fun to do like different emotions and expressions between the two of these as well. Um, Hexmas, myself, whichever, is a lot more like demure and uh, melancholy, I guess is a good word. Like she is actually laying in her coffin, whereas Samuel is more like the vampire waiting to pop out of the coffin. <laughs> It was um, really fun to explore like the differences between the two of them, especially because Xmas is a lot more like upbeat and excited. I've been watching you with dark eyes every night Counting up your sins, I keep a list and checking it twice Smell the sin and you look in eyes. my content and the art that I make and do you want to support me? Well, I've just opened up a Patreon so that you can see sneak previews of videos that I make as well as works in progress, um, bit, tidbits of lore and such, as well as access to a Discord that we have going on. Um, so feel free to join, feel free to support me. I would 
love that and I would be so, so thankful. And uh, I want to say thank you to my very first Patreon, TWS subscriber, and my first $20 demon tier patron, Mimi Chai. Thank you both so, so much for supporting me. And now, let's get on to those glamour shots.